Hey everybody, this is Perch. This is something that just kind of has added up over time and, and has gotten to just annoy me. And I'm curious if, if any of you have the same experience. And on one hand, I'm sympathetic because I understand a lot of the basis behind this stuff. I understand why, um, you know, I, I understand kind of the basis. But uh, over and over and over and over, seeing these kinds of things is starting to just, it wears on you and it, it starts to erode kind of your general happy feelings about comics in the first place. And what I'm talking about are rules. And what I mean by rules are there's this kind of regular trend right now, uh, particularly on social media, but this isn't a social media thing, although I've, it, it, it's related. Um, it, and it's, it's you have, you know, you have to do this. And in many cases, and Donnie Cates was most recently doing this, of the you have to, uh, you as a fan need to do it this way. You need to interact with us, the creators, this way. You need to, uh, don't, don't quote tweet this, don't add in this person, don't do that. It's, um, it, it's, it's, it's aggravating and there's whole threads going on. Uh, Jennifer Hutchinson writes, uh, you know, I've noticed sometimes when folks ask questions during my Q and A's that they insult a show or TV writing in general and weird ways and don't do that. So we'll get to that in a second. Stuff like how you write is an effective series finale is sufficient. You do not need to add unlike show, which sucked. So basically this is saying that, you know, when people are, are commenting or reviewing or talking to creators. Um, that they don't say, you know, hey, I really liked your show. It was much better than this other show. Or for Donny Cates, I liked your Venom. It was much better than previous uh, crappy versions of Venom. Now, on one hand, this is what I say. I, I'm sympathetic because, uh, you know, asshole behavior is asshole behavior. And I do think that if you're coming in, you're just like, uh, there, there is a certain level of, of uh, you know, hey, I like you better than that other jerk over there. I get it. I totally get it. I, I get why as a customer, we should just try and be a little nicer to each other. We should try not to you know, kind of harp on every negative thing. Totally agree. But at the same time, it gets old where every day or every couple days we get this, don't do that. You shouldn't do that. This is a no, no, don't be this way. This, this kind of like, like a, uh, you know, a middle school teacher constantly doing this. Uh, you know, Kate's, uh, basically quote tweets, which by the way, is another rule. You're not supposed to, you're not supposed to quote tweet something as well. That's another thing people are not supposed to do. There's just this constant list of do this, not that. And at some point you just say, fuck you. And, and I just want to look, can I just read comics and enjoy them and talk about them? And I'll, you know, I'll, my, my pledge as a customer is I'll try not to be a raving jerk. I'll try. And if I slip up every now and then I'll apologize. Um, and otherwise, can, can we just stop with the constant manners lessons? It, it, it takes a lot of the fun out of comics. And it really, it's the opposite of what a lot of us got into comics, both as customers, fans, and creators, frankly, to do. You know, we wanted something that was kind of a, a unique hobby, edgy, had a little bit of aspects to it. We didn't want to have to follow the 850, you know, social media rules for how to properly engage with a creator. For me, I just get to a point of saying, you know what? I, I don't want to engage. And I don't, I, I, on Twitter, I don't tag in creators unless they're, they're friends of mine, unless it's somebody I absolutely know. And I, but I don't, I just don't bother anymore because I don't, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to hear the, uh, the, the lesson plan of how exactly I need to engage. Um, you know, like I said, Kate's, uh, response to this with a little kind of multiple piece, um, this, uh, by the way, that this, okay, please do not come to me or anyone else and tell me how excited you are for me to write a book because of how much you hated the last run or any variation of this. Chances are very high that I am friends with whoever you're talking about. It's okay to have these opinions, by the way, and I know you think you're complimenting me, but you can do that and not put other people down in the process. I'm never going to think that it's cool that you hate something. I promise. So it sounds, sounds good, but okay. Number one, Kate's has talked about hating things all over the place in different areas. So, I mean, I guess this just applies to comics. And number two, I, I, again, they're not wrong. When you come on, it's, it's, it would be good not to be a crazy dick. And, and, and yes, absolutely. No creator, no, you know, anyone, whether you're, and, and the, maybe part of the problem with this is these rules are all written from the standpoint of as a creator, don't talk about other creators this way. And maybe the better way to say it is as a human being, don't talk about other humans this way, because is any of this different for customers? 
is when I see, uh, you know, it, it's just, it, it's almost laughable. I sit back and I watch customers tell creators how they should behave. And I see creators tell customers how they should behave. And maybe everybody should just shut the F up and just try and enjoy the comics a little bit. Maybe. I mean, I do think it's kind of rich that we get regular commentary on how the, you know, how customers should interact with creators on social media. And we get videos and comments from customers telling creators how they should interact on social media. And both, both groups seem to, uh, you know, deny what their, their side of it, that they're, you know, they're being the same way. I just like, all this is just too much work. Like, sir, ma'am, I, I, this is a Wendy's and I'm just trying to get a burger. That's kind of <laughs> like Donnie. I just want to read or 16 and I hope it's good. Okay. That's it. Hey, Al Ewing, I, uh, I'm looking forward to issue 50 of the Immortal Hulk. I hope you stick the landing. That would be nice. Uh, I, I don't, I, to me, having to navigate the exact appropriate way to say this, but not that and do it in this way, but not that way. So nobody, you know, it's just, it's, it's not, it's, it's too much. It's too much. I'm out. And I think right now, as we talk about comics and fandom and customers and all these other things, there are too many people saying I'm out. That seems to be a pretty common uh, thing going on. And in a lot of cases, maybe if we're talking about the zeitgeist of, of social media and comics, because social media is in effect the, the uh, you know, water cooler, the place people come to talk about the comics, maybe that is one reason why you do see so many people enthusiastically supporting manga outside of whatever the content is, outside of whatever the price point and other things are. One thing about manga is that you can love or hate or do whatever you want. If you're in the U.S., the creator's not not listening to you and not talking to you and you're not talking to them. Nobody tags in. Like I see tons and tons of comments about One Piece, a series I enjoy very much. At no point is Oda in there uh, telling people about One Piece and, and what to say about the creator of My Hero Academia. And like that, that, none of that's happening. Now, maybe that's happening in, in Japan. It's not, but, but, you know, let's pretend that it is. Maybe this, uh, you know, this division is one more reason why people are gravitating to manga. I don't know. Uh, but I think the separation is somewhat healthy. And I think, uh, this, everybody kind of wants it all ways. You know, I see lots of creators talking, uh, and wanting to be very sarcastic on social media, wanting to do little dunks on, you know, politicians they don't like, or companies they don't like, or, you know, I was watching a uh, uh, guy who was a Heather Antos wanting to, you know, going on a little mini rant about the cruise industry. Um, you're welcome to do it, Heather. But when you're making little snide comments about this other business, um, you're setting a tone for how people are going to come and interact with you. I, I think this is just common sense. I'm not, I'm again, I'm not telling you how to behave. This is not me making up my own rules. I'm just saying it's cause and effect. If you set a certain tone on your, your, your threat, your, your wall, and then you come in and you tell people that they need to be polite and have, you know, very strong etiquette and how they engage with you. What do you think is going to happen? And by the way, to be fair, if you are a customer and you enjoy taking the piss out of comic creators on a regular basis, and then one of those creators turns around and smacks you for it, you can't immediately go crying into the corner that how could this have happened? You, you set, you set the dialogue tone. You, you did. Yes, it's absolutely true. Should customers, should humans, should customers, creators, everyone not be jerks? Absolutely. Absolutely. Again, most of these rules, by the way, both on the creator side and on the customer side, they're not wrong. It's good common sense more, more times than not. It's just for me, I'm getting tired of seeing them repeat it over and over and over and over and nothing kills my interest in whatever is going on with Thor than to see Donny Cates do a long thread about, or you know, not even a long thread, it was two tweets, but I mean, they, they do this over and over and then they reply 800 times and it's just the stuff fills up. I was looking at my wall and uh, what I'm increasingly seeing, my, my Twitter, is uh, either people I directly know, friends, people I talk to on the phone, or uh, you know these uh, Twitter accounts that like post weird photos and and you know crazy outrageous you know here's some views from space stuff like that. I filled up a lot of my Twitter with that, and then just various you know people I've known over the last couple of years that that have followed me for this channel, but I, I'm following less and less uh, creators and frankly the big people on the. Uh, 
the consumer rights movement, whatever that is, I, I, I'm falling less on both sides because I'm just, it bores me. You know, I would love to hear Donnie Cates talk about the inspiration behind uh, the Donald Blake uh, copy of Thor. I'd like to hear, see him talk about the beats of what he has going on there. I'd like to, hell, I'd even go with what music is he listening to while he's writing or what kind of environment? Where does he write? Does he go outside and look at the sky? Does he write in a basement? What? I'd be interested in all that. Hearing uh, people uh, scold others saying, don't come into my thread and say you don't like somebody else's work. I, I just, again, you're not wrong. You're, he's not wrong. Let's try not to be a jerk to each other. Absolutely. Just uh, how, how, mu how many times? How much? <laughs> I don't know. I'm tuning out. How about you? Does this irritate you? Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe, of course. And thanks for listening.